How's it going folks? Rob here. Thought I'd do a quick little clip uh, just showing you a couple of bits and pieces I picked up this week. Uh, the first one is this awesome shirt by Root and Ramble. Aquaponics grow different. Uh, awesome little design of a guy wrangling some fish with a net. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Definitely going to open up some conversations with folks as I wear it out around the place just about aquaponics and urban farming and whatnot. Um, I actually saw it first on Rob's channel um, here on YouTube. He was modelling it over there and he offered a discount code 15% off with uh, the folks at Root and Ramble and I decided to pick up this shirt. They've been very generous and offered me the same deal so if you want to check out the description below there'll be a code for a 15% discount either on this shirt here or one of the other fabulous designs they have over there. Um, it is an American made shirt, very good quality. Sorry all you Aussies out there, I know I'm spruiking an American product but you know if it's quality I don't mind supporting them. Um, so yeah check it out if you're interested. Uh, the other thing is it the beanie? It's actually a, um, a pH conductivity and temperature meter that I picked up from Blue Labs. I actually approached them asking what would suit my system and they decided to send me one out. So what we'll do is we'll grab the knife and um, yeah, we'll cut open the box and see what it looks like. So this is the little box. It was um, sent late last week. It got here rather quickly. So we'll set that's the little delivery slip and whatnot and pop them to one side. Now um, just a bit of a confession I actually contacted these guys Blue Lab and um, I was asking advice on what was the best meter to buy for aquaponics and the guys there were that nice that they actually offered to um, send me one for Nick. So just a full disclaimer um, this isn't a paid ad um, I was making an inquiry and the great folks there decided to send me one gratis so thank you very much Blue Lab. Wow here we go sweet so we've got a little blue lab combo meter. Um, the combo meter um, tests the pH conductivity and the temperature of the water. Comes with two probes and they were also very kind enough to toss in a little storage case for it. Excellent. Thank you very much guys. So have a bit, pull this thing out and have a bit of a look at it. Woohoo! It comes with batteries. What else have we got? We've got the probe, that's the actual pH probe itself. And we have the meter. And this is the conductivity and the thermometer side of things. And we have a getting started sheet, always comes in handy. Never used to read manuals, but I do now. And some gizmos just in this little box here. By the look of it. Aha. We have calibration solution pH 7 and 4 so this is a two-point calibration um, you go to 7 and then it goes down to 4 just so you get a nice accurate reading I don't need these um, I might save them for a rainy day because I've got my own liquid at the moment that I can use so just pop them back in there so what we've got is basically the probe uh, measures pH uh, nutrients and also temperature um, you just file through the the program just to see whichever reading you want I won't be needing the nutrient measurements obviously um, we're not dealing with nutrient salts in aquaponics so it will come in handy though in the future uh, after we finish the renovation I'm thinking about going back and doing a little bit of hydroponics again something Bianca and I played around with in the past um, over here this is the probe so it looks like we have to rip him open there's a suction cup and there we go oh that's excellent um, I was a little bit concerned the probe actually comes with some storage solution in there I didn't have any I wasn't actually expecting this to arrive anytime soon um, so I don't have any storage solution for this little jobby yet so and there's the um, the actual fitting itself goes onto the top of the meter like so locks in place and there we go there's the little unit now um, I'm not going to go through it um, today and calibrate it in front of you all that could get a little bit boring but 
I will show you what I use. Now, I might actually just put this little fella in his case before I do that. So when it comes to calibrating these little jobbies, I use a seven and a four. Most of them are dual point calibration. And I have these little leftover specimen jars. They're actually from our yoga culture. Uh, these jars were given to us to keep the um, yoga culture in fresh in the freezer once the sachets were open. And I also have another container that I keep these guys in. And I also just add water in there to wash out the probe. So what I generally do is put fresh solution in each of these guys pop the probe in um, well normally it's a pen but prop the pop the probe in um, seven press the calibrate button and it normally does all the work and then you rinse it out in a little jar and then you pop it in the four press a button and away you go so that's how most of the pens have um, gone I've got this one here that I found to be the most reliable to date and I've gone through a few others that I've accidentally broken um, but this one has been a really good one um, unfortunately though for whatever reason the probes of these guys here in Australia cost the same price as a whole brand new meter overseas for some reason the probes are so expensive expensive over here so that's one of the big reasons I opted out of um, using this little fella quality um, it worked well I did go through probably uh, one probe every eight or so months but yeah um, I've been happy with them to date it's just the price and yeah factor for me at the moment one of the other ones might as well show you is this little cheapy um, this is a little seven dollar jobby I've seen they're a pretty generic make actually you'll see them um, online I picked up this one uh, from eBay for about eight a couple of years ago I think I've seen them around about 15 to 20 dollars Australian now uh, the beauty of these guys is you pop them in your solution seven normally and you just um, turn the back here with a little screwdriver that comes with the kit and that adjusts the um, pH at the front here so it's very basic is you know you turn it on you pop the calibrate it pop it in the tank and away you go but as you can see what are we reading there 19.5 they're not the most accurate of pen and I do have to calibrate it pretty much all well every time I use it so hence getting something a little bit better but yeah this is my emergency backup so if you've got a small system, there's no need seriously to run out and buy something like this or even something like this. You can use just these little um, cheapy pH meters. I find they're fairly accurate as long as you keep calibrating them all the time. Even the little colorimetric pH test that you get with your freshwater test kit, uh, they're going to be accurate enough for most people. It's just when you start to run um, larger numbers, larger biomasses, that pH can be an issue. Just to give you an example, um, during summer I was putting in over 300 grams worth of feed into our system just through the nitrogen cycle um, the ammonia changing to nitrite and then nitrate it does tend to acidify the system somewhat so I did have big fluctuations in my pH it can be harmful to the fish and it can also upset the bacteria which are basically driving the system so I like to keep a decent eye on it hence a decent bit of kit so there's a bit of a look at the new toy and I would like to thank the guys at Blue Lab and Tua um, thank you very much for helping me out with this I really do appreciate it folks so I've just calibrated the little probe here I'm just going to pop both the temperature and pH probe down into the radial flow filter here and I'll see if I can get a decent reading for you so it looks like we've got 6.1. I definitely need to pop some calcium hydroxide in there just to boost it up a little bit. Now to go for, to temperature, all I need to do is press that button. It shows me the water temp is 19 degrees centigrade. And if I hold it, and then press it again, it tells me it's 66 Fahrenheit. So I can go between the two of them. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before too, this little jobby isn't waterproof so I've got to make sure she's nice and dry before I put it away and if I do drop it in water it needs to be dried off straight away. And there we go, she settled down to 6.1. So there you go folks, there's a little bit of a look at the meter in action. Um, it turns itself off by the way so I just need to pull this guy, these guys out now and rinse off the probes in some clean water. Pop the little cap on the end and away we go. So the meter does look a, like a quality bit of kit and from what I've seen online um, it does look like it's going to live up to all expectations. I'm pretty stoked that the replacement probes are going to be cheaper for me. Um, still can't get over how much the others cost here in Australia compared with elsewhere in the world. So I'll keep you updated anyway and you will see me use it in upcoming clips as well. I generally do a pH reading whenever I do an update on the system. Um, the shirt. 
Thank you once more, Root and Ramble, and Chris, who helped me out with this. Uh, don't forget to check out the link in the description below and the discount code. Um, it's valid until the end of July from memory. Um, you can snap up yourself uh, a bit of a bargain and a quality made tea with some great artwork on it. Also, too, kudos, Rob. Thanks very much for showing it, mate. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have stumbled across it. If this is the first time you've seen one of our clips, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you'll be sent a notification every time we upload a clip on either the aquaponics or whatever else is going on in our small little backyard farm here. I do hope everyone is well and happy and that your gardens are all booming and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks. There we go. Oh, I just snapped it.